It is the day Vol fans have been waiting for. We are about two hours and 45 minutes away from the Vols opening NCAA tournament play this afternoon. They are in Columbus, Ohio, playing Colgate. And that's where we find 10 Sports anchor Patrick Murray live in Columbus, hanging out with all the fans. Hey, Patrick. Hey, Leslie, yeah, we're hanging out here at the team hotel. They have a pep rally that's about to get started here in a minute. I'm going to step aside and let you take a look. Smokey is here. The cheerleaders are here. The band will be here any minute to play, and the team will come down later on in about 45 minutes. Everyone expects this team to make a deep run in the tournament, and the furthest the Vols have ever gone is the Elite Eight. Here's what they say they've got to do to top that. Continue to play how we play. We don't want to go out by saying we didn't execute our game plan. We didn't, we could have done something differently. We, if we go out, it's, it has to be, we played as hard as we could. We did everything possible to win and we, we stuck with each other and it just didn't fall far ahead and didn't fall away. But we don't want to go out with any regrets. We don't want to go out saying if we had passed the bar, if we had trusted each other more. It has to be, we were together the entire time. Uh, it was just competitive and it was a night that where it just it wasn't our, our night. Two seeds are 128 and eight all time against 15 seeds. So the odds are in Tennessee's favor today and coming up in about 10 minutes here in Columbus, the Cincinnati and Iowa game is going to get going and then the Vols will play 30 minutes after the conclusion of that game. And if Tennessee wins today, then they'll play the winner of that Cincinnati, Ohio game or Cincinnati, Iowa game on Sunday. Well, we'll be back in about half an hour to check in on this pep rally, but for now we'll send it back to you, Leslie. Patrick, thank you. Looks like some great energy there. We appreciate it. Well, local businesses are prepared for those basketball fans. Bars and restaurants have seen growing numbers of fans showing up to watch UT games. The owner of Hobson Hollers on North Central Street says watching the Vols with the group of fans is one of the best ways to watch. It's fun to watch a game with a bunch of fellow Tennessee fans. Being a Tennessee alum, it's always good to, to see everybody come out and just yelling at the TV and cheering and Everybody here would think they're in the you think they were in the arena with the team and the team could hear them, but they can't. But it's just a fun atmosphere. Even football players are excited for the NCAA tournament. Tennessee football wishing the basketball team good luck today. They posted this video saying one fly. We all fly. Let's go ball hoops. Again, we are about two hours and 45 minutes away from tip off against Colgate. Tip off will be 25 minutes after the Cincinnati and Iowa game. So around 245 ish.